piece I get asked this a lot is how you create the card bases with clear cardstock. What I've done is cut the 8.5 by 11 sheet in half at 5.5 inches. I did it right in my paper trimmer, super easy. It cuts just like regular paper. To create the crease uh, for the spine, I'm going to lay it right in my score pal. That's the best way I've found to get these scored. And I'm going to score it at four and a quarter inches. And then lay it down flat. And you could go ahead and use the score tool with a little bit of pressure. It gradually place more pressure on the tool with your fingertip, creating that nice burnished clean spine. Next I'm going to stamp the focal point for the front of the card. Um, if you can t see this, I've gone ahead and adhered the three flower stamps I'm using right on to one block. It makes it a lot easier to get your placement perfect if you fiddle with it before it goes on the block. I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. I'm using the um, Noir uh, palette ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that right in the center of my Stamper Select white cardstock, like so. And you end up with all three flower images, just like that. Next, I'm going to go back in and add the stem to each flower. I'm going to put one right here with the tulip. Add one for this middle flower, and if you'll notice, I've gone ahead and stamped right over this small lower flower. That's because we're actually going to be covering that up later. And I'm going to add one more stem for the lower. I'm going to add the leaves next. The ones are going to go right there by the daisy, and like I said before, I'm stamping right over that lower flower. So I'm going to be covering that up later. And then I'm going to put a second leaf right here next to the tulip, like so. I'm going to add one much more detail to this daisy, and there's a little separate center to go right in the middle. And now I'm going to show you um, how I use my Copics to color this image. Um, I'm going to be using paper tray trios that coordinate with our colors. I'm starting out with the trio that coordinates with ripe avocado, um, and it's going to be going right here in the leaves. I'm going to start with the YG93, which is the lightest hue of this trio. And I'm going to give this leaf complete coverage with this color, like so. And I'm going to go in with the middle color, which is YG93. And I'm going to use a few flicks of my wrist just like so, down at the bottom of the leaf and up through the center. Yeah. I've added a little bit of YG97, the darkest hue, right on top of that. Now to make the magic happen, I'm going back in with the lighter color and I'm pulling those darker shades up towards the top of the leaf. When your ink is kept wet and kept moving like this and layered, the colors really blend together nicely. Next I'm going to move on to this tulip. I'm using the Berry Sorbet Trio and I'm starting with the lightest color, R01. And I'm going to go ahead and put some thorough coverage right on this tulip. Next I'm going to go to R32, which is the medium shade for Berry Sorbet. And I'm just adding some coverage down the left side along the top and then just a few flicks of color downward from the top. Next I'm moving to the darker color, R35, and I'm going to add just a touch of this down the left side and a little across the top. And just like I stated with the leaves earlier, you want to go back in with your lightest color and pull the darker color downward. I'm moving on to this large daisy image now, and I'm using the Summer Sunrise um, Copic Trio. Starting with Y32, I'm going to go in and add a complete coverage. 
Now I'm going to go in with the medium shade Y35 and I'm going to go around the center. This is followed by Y38, the darkest shade. I'm going to go ahead and put a circle of color right around the middle. And back with the Y32, the lightest shade again, and I'm going to use that to blend all these colors together nicely. Now I'm going to go in with E57, which is the medium dark chocolate color. I'm just coloring in the center of the daisy. Nothing fancy. I've stamped this small flower right here on a separate piece of cardstock and cut it out and I'm coloring it with um, the Aquamist Trio, just the lightest and the medium. I've colored it in with BG11 which is the lightest and I'm just going in with a few splashes of the BG72, the middle shade, right in the center. And then I'm going back over with the BG11 to pull that color out. I have a strip of craft cardstock here that I stamped with um, Polka Dot Basics 2, the smallest dots, using um, our Fresh Snow Craft ink. And then I've added this Thinking of You sentiment and black ink on top of it that's also from this Springtime Doodle set. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the bottom portion of the flower block that we just created. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the ends. I'm now going to add a few rhinestones to the center of this little flower that we colored separately. I'm going to add one medium and two small. And then all I'm going to do is stick this right in place where I put my flower marker earlier. And here's the finished focal point. I wanted it to kind of look like there was some blue sky around the edges of this focal point. So I went in with the spring rain pigment pad and just did some direct to paper around the edge of it. And there's the finished focal point. I'm applying some adhesive to the back of this focal point and I've got my clear card base that we created earlier and I'm just adhering this in place. You don't need any special adhesive. Whatever you use for your normal paper to paper adhesive will work just fine. And now I'm going to add a mat to this. Now the question that I get a lot is how in the world do you cover up all of this adhesive and stuff in the inside of the card? Well the answer is that you adhere your mat to the inside back of the front cover. And the best way to do this is to kind of position it where you want it and then go ahead and just shut the card and apply some pressure. Now I wanted to do something special for the interior of this card. I'm using Scattered Showers Editions. The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow sentiment. I thought it would be appropriate for this card. I've stamped that with black ink. And I'm also going to use the Sun Image from Scattered Showers Editions with Summer Sunrise ink. And I'm just going to stamp this in the upper right hand corner. As one last finishing detail for this sun, I have one of our half inch clear dome stickers. I'm applying right to the middle. Like so. You want to make sure this is lined up with the front cover element and just go ahead and shut the card in place. And then as you can see, they line up perfectly so you can't see the interior when the card is closed. Now once again we have adhesive on the back we need to cover up so I have a second red mat and I'm going to go ahead and line that up just like so. So here's your finished piece.